Let's start though, putting this around our quads. We'll have it just above the knees slightly. Um, I don't want it super high up because it can start to roll or slide up too much. Um, and then we'll start lying down on the back. I'm gonna have my feet again about sitting bone distance apart. I'm gonna have that little bit of outer energy into the band. And what we're gonna do is while we push that outer energy into the band, I don't want you to actually open the knees up, but I almost want you to feel like you're squeezing something between your lower leg as you open the band slightly. So we wanna feel kind of an inner leg line and an outer leg line engagement. You're gonna take an inhale here. We're gonna exhale, just imprint the low back without losing that outer leg connection and start to press down through the hips and peel, or down through the feet and peel the hips up. Inhaling at the top. Exhale, we'll soften the spine, rolling down with control. So my outer energy is kind of creating some space for my SI joint. So the more I kind of keep that connection as I lift, the less I'm kind of compressing here with almost over tucking my pelvis, I want to think of almost creating that space. And then soften the spine and roll. We'll go a few more like that. Inhale. Exhale, we'll imprint and peel the hips up, just warming up the spine. Inhaling at the top. And then exhale, soften and roll back down. Go two more. Inhale, exhale, we'll imprint and peel the hips up. Inhaling at the top and then exhale, soften and roll. And last time, exhale, we'll imprint. Start to press down through the feet, peel the hips up, hold it here. Now I'm gonna use the band in order to support my hamstring on my standing leg and my hip on my moving leg. So I'm gonna lift my right leg up to a tabletop position, feeling myself pushing down to the hamstring as I pull up through the quad. I'm gonna lower that leg down and up for five. And four, and three, and two, last one, take the foot down, lift up to the hips, inhale to prepare, exhale, we lift the left leg up, pull against the band in both directions. So I want to push through my hamstring of my right leg now and pull through that quad of my left leg. I'm gonna lower the leg down and lift it up for five, four, three, two, and the last one. Let the foot come to the mat, press up through the hips, soften the spine, we'll roll it down with control. Take an inhale. Exhale, we're gonna imprint the low back again. We're gonna peel the hips up, hold it here at the top. Take an inhale, exhale, we're gonna float that right leg up to tabletop again. This time I'm gonna extend my leg up to the sky. I'm gonna open the leg out towards the side and back to center for five, four, three. So now I'm using that band and that outer energy to help me kick on my obliques a little bit more. Last one. Back to center, lower the leg down so it's the height of the quad. I want an internal rotation of my right leg just a little bit more than you would think. And then I'm gonna open that leg out for five, four, three, two, final one. Bend the knee, lift through the hips, inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the left leg up. We extend it up to the sky. I'm gonna lift through my foot. I'm gonna open that leg out to the side and back for five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it here. I'm gonna lower my leg down so it's the height of my quad and open out to the side with that little bit of internal rotation. And four, and three, two, and last one, bend the knee, take the foot to the mat, inhale to prepare, exhale, soften my spine, rolling down with control. We'll interlace those hands behind the head. Take an inhale, exhale, we'll curl the head, neck, and chest forward. And inhale, lower down. And exhale, curl it forward. And inhale, lower. 
And exhale, curl. And inhale, lower. Last two like this, exhale, curl. Inhale, lower, and final one. We're gonna exhale, curl, stay lifted. Inhale, grab the backs of the legs. We're gonna exhale, pull up a little bit higher. Keep that new height. Hands go back behind the head. Take an inhale. We're gonna exhale, lift the right leg up and extend it away. And drag it in for five, four. And you'll notice at the end, I'm really using that band to find that extension. And then I'm using the band at the very end here to find that flexion. Last two, and last one. Now, as I pull my knee in, I'm gonna to rotate towards it for five, four, three, two, last one. Bring the knee in, lower the foot down, inhale to prepare, lowering down. Exhale, we curl the head, neck, and chest forward. Inhale, grab the backs of the legs. Exhale, pull up even higher. We keep that height, hands go back behind the head. I exhale, lift my left leg up and down for five, four, two. Hold it here, extend the leg out. Drag it back in for five, four, three, Two. Now adding rotation. We drag it in and rotate for five, three, two, and last one. Drag the knee back in, lower the foot down, inhale, lower down. Exhale, we're going to curl it up. Inhale, grab the backs of the legs. Exhale, pull up even deeper. Now we're going to take an inhale, gluing the knees and the feet together. I'm going to exhale, float my legs up to a tabletop position. Now my knees are going to try to stay on top of my hips. I don't want them super far in. I'm going to curl my head, neck, and chest up one inch higher. So now I'm at my new height. Hands are going to go behind the head. I'm going to lower my leg down to tap for five and four. Last one. Now extend it away for five, and four, and three, two. Now on the next one, hold it here. We're gonna to rotate towards the left leg and back to center. As we extend, we rotate back to center. Three more, and two, and last one. Back to center, grab the backs of the legs. We're gonna exhale, pull up a little bit higher, going over to the other side, interlacing the hands back behind the head. I lower my left leg down and up for five, four. Last time, now we extend it away for five, and Last one, and now we hold it, we rotate towards the knee, and back through center for five, four, three, two, and final one, back to center, lower down, hug those knees in to the chest. Go ahead and we'll take the legs down one at a time. We're gonna cross that right ankle over the left quad, my arms are gonna open up to a T or I'm gonna hold my, my sides of my mat. We're gonna inhale, just tip the knees over to one side, get a little stretch, and exhale through the center and inhale over. Nice little pop for me, and then exhale through the center, inhale over. Exhale through the center, and inhale over. And exhale through the center. One more to each side. Inhale over. Exhale through to the center and inhale over to the other side. Exhale through to the center. Now we're going to take an inhale. Exhale, we're going to interlace the hands behind the head and curl up the head, neck, and chest and hold it here. I'm going to lift my leg up and lower it down. Lift my leg up and lower it down. Last three. And two. 
And last one. Hold it here. We're going to lift up one inch higher and lower it down. All right, holding this side of the hands, uh, the hands out to the side or out to a T position. I'm going to cross my left ankle over my right quad. And then I'm just going to inhale over to the right. Exhale, come back through to center. Inhale over to the other side. And exhale through. Inhaling over. And exhale through to center. And inhale over. And exhale through center. We're going to go one more to each side. Coming back to center. We'll interlace the hands behind the head. Take an inhale to prepare. We're going to exhale, curl the head, neck, and chest forward. Inhale, exhale, lift the legs up and down for five, four, three, two, and last one. Take the foot down. Take the head, neck, and chest down. Let the feet separate. Extend the legs out. Arms reach up over the head. We'll take an inhale. Lift the arms up. The head, neck, and chest follow. We'll exhale. Peel up and over. Inhale. Reach. And exhale. We'll roll it down. Arms up and over the head. Inhale. Lift the arms up. Head, neck, and chest follow. Exhale. Peel up and over. Inhale. Dive. And exhale. We lower. Good. Inhale. Exhale, we dive up and over. Inhale, reach. Exhale, we roll it down. And last two. And exhale, we roll. Final one, inhale. Exhale, we dive up and over. We reach forward. I find that connection. We're going to do what we did in my uh, foam roller class, but this time without the foam roller. So I'm going to lift up and out of my hips as much as I can. I'm going to dive forward as deep as I can, keeping the belly pulling back in opposition. I'm going to lift my right leg up and down for five, four, three, two, and last one. Other side, we go five and four and three, two, and last one. And we drag those knees in. We pull the shins in towards the body, lifting the feet off. We inhale, roll it back, going into rolling like a ball. Exhale, up with control. Inhale, we roll it back. Exhale, up. Inhale, we roll. Exhale, up. Three more like this. And two, keeping those knees covering in deep towards the body to find that deeper curl through the spine. Hold it here. Now we're gonna extend the legs out. We're gonna open and close the legs, drag the knees in, and we roll. Curl, extend the legs out. We open, close the legs, drag the knees in, and we roll. Hold it here. Extend the legs out, open, close the legs, drag the knees in, we roll. Last two, inhale out, open, close the legs, drag the knees in, and we roll. Final one, inhale, open, close, drag the knees in, and we roll. Hold it here on the, on the lift. So we're in that teaser position. I'm going to roll through my spine, and as I roll, I'm going to drag my knee in. Hold it here, keeping that head, neck, and chest curled. And my arms are going to go forward. I'm going to curl it up, extend the leg away. As I roll it back, I'm going to drag my left knee in. Hold it, curl up a little bit higher, reach the arms. Use that support to bring yourself back out. Two more to each side, I curl it back, dragging my knee in, hold it. Extend and reach it up, and curl it back, dragging the opposite leg in. Roll it forward and up. Last one to each side, we curl it. 
and we roll it up and last one we curl and drag in and roll it up bend those knees in and dive it forward rolling it back as I roll, I'm gonna lift my legs up and reach up and over into a rollover. Flex the feet, separate the feet, feel that outer energy, lower the toes towards the floor. I roll through my spine, coming down onto the mat. Once my tailbone touches, I point through my feet, separate, uh, circle around and together and up to the sky. We exhale up and over. Flex the feet, separate the feet, hinge at the hips, reach through the heels, out through the band, roll yourself down, point together with the legs up to the sky. Up and over we go. Flex, open, reach, and roll. Point together, two more. Up, reach up and over. Flex, open, reach, roll, Point the feet, circle together. Last time, we go up and over. We flex the feet, separate, reach. Roll the feet down with control. We're gonna keep ourselves elevated in the legs. We're gonna roll ourselves back up to the teaser position. Lower the legs down and lift them up for five and four and three, and two, last one, bring everything down, stretch it back, inhale, lift the arms up, the head, neck, and chest fall, we're going to exhale, lift everything up again, this time we're going to lower the right leg down and up for three, and two, and one, other side, three, two, one, lower everything down with control. Inhale, lift the arms up, head, neck, and chest follow. We exhale, dive up and over. And now this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the band around the outer feet, like so. I'm gonna open my feet about hip distance apart. So now we're getting that little bit of outer energy. We're gonna take those arms out, going into our spine stretch forward. Nod the chin, we dive it forward. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, we re-stack the spine, growing tall. Inhale, exhale, we nod the chin, dive it forward. Inhale, exhale, re-stack, growing tall. Inhale, exhale, we dive the chin down, or dive forward, reaching forward, inhale. Exhale, we restack, growing tall. One more like that. Inhale. Exhale, we nod the chin, dive it forward. Inhale. Exhale, we ring it back up. Open those arms out to a T. Could you open that band up even wider? We're going to inhale, twist. Exhale, dive. Inhale, lengthen out. Rotate and back to center. Inhale, over. Exhale, we dive. Inhale, extend it up. Open those arms and back to center. So I inhale, twist, exhale, dive. Inhale, extend it up, exhale, come back to center. Last one to each side after this. Final one to the left. And back to center and over to the other side, last time. And back to center, take the arms down. Take the feet out. We're gonna take the band now, and I want us to put it around our upper arm bones. So there it's right above our elbows, and we're gonna come on to all fours. So in this position, by having the band around my upper arm bones, I can, once again, it's kind of like how it was around my legs, getting that little bit of outer energy in the band to help my shoulder blades support me. I'm gonna come up a little bit further forward, and all I'm gonna do is I wanna take my right arm forward and back and forward and back and forward and back and forward and back. Now I'm gonna take my arm forward out to the side and back. 
to the side, forward, to the side, back, to the side, forward, back to center, other side, left arm forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward to the side, back to the side, forward to the side, back to the side, last two, to the side, back to the side, last one forward, to the side, back to center. So I'm gonna keep this connection here. I'm gonna take my right leg back into a plank position. I'm gonna take my left leg to join it. I'm gonna maintain this plank position. I wanna open my feet about the distance of the mat or my hips. And then once again, I'm gonna do the same thing. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Last time, forward, back. Now to the side and back and side, forward. Side, back, side, forward, last round, side, back, side, forward, come back to center, let your knees come down, sit it back, and take a rest. We're coming right back up to do the other side, so we're going to come on up to our all fours position again. I'm going to take my right leg back to that plank, my left leg's going to join me, I'm going to open my feet the distance of the mat. My left arm is going to go out and back. So forward and back. Forward and back. Last time, forward and back. Now forward to the side, back to the side. Forward to the side, back to the side. Last one. Back to the side, forward, back to center. Take one knee down, other knee down. Okay, let's take that band now. We're gonna put it around our quads once again. So using the band in different ways of creating energy just encourages a little more 360 work in the body. And so now when we go into our plank work with our band, we get to use it to encourage a little more abdominal engagement. So we're gonna come back onto our hands and knees. My hands are underneath my shoulders, my knees are underneath my hips. This time my feet don't have to go the distance of the mat. They're just gonna be pretty close together. So I'm gonna reach my right leg back, find that connection, hold it here. Now, instead of reaching the left leg back immediately, I just wanna hover my left knee off of the mat. So I'm keeping that connection. I'm gonna extend my leg away, reaching it slightly up, and then I'm gonna drag the knee into about that 90 degree angle of my hip. So I extend the leg back, and then exhale, drag it in. Inhale, extend the leg back, Exhale, drag it in. Last time like this, extend it back. Exhale, drag it in. Now I love this position of the band here because it really helps my straight leg get as straight as it can by reaching through the hamstring. Now I'm gonna extend the leg back. I'm gonna open the leg out to the side and back to center. Open it out to the side and back to center. Three more, out and center. Two, out and center. Last time out and center, just reach it back. You won't have a bar there hopefully to hit like I just did. And then bring that leg up to the sky. Find that reach and bring it back down. Come back down. I'm gonna bring myself a little bit further forward so that doesn't happen again. And we'll go to the other side. So now my left leg is gonna extend back. Hold that there, keep that connection. I'm again using my hamstring of my straight leg to really support my pelvis. And then I'm gonna hover my opposite knee up. I'm gonna extend the leg away and drag it back in. So when I extend out, I'm, I am trying to reach a little bit up into that band and then dragging it in. Out and away, a little up with the band and drag it back in. Last two, away and up and drag it back in. And last one, away and up, and drag it back in. We're gonna go away and up and hold it there. We're gonna open out to the side for five, four, three, two, last one. And now hopefully I can reach back without hitting my bars. <laughs> and then we'll take it back down. We'll 
lower our knees down, sit back, take a moment. Now we're gonna do our side planks on our forearm just to give our wrists a little bit of a break. I had us on them for quite a bit of time. So let's go ahead and start on our left side. So my hand is just gonna be pointing straight ahead. I can make a fist, but try to make sure you're keeping it sort of in line with the body or in that 90 degree angle. I'm gonna take my feet a little bit further out, but I wanna actually, if I can, stack my feet this time. So we're gonna take the legs into that side plank position, holding that connection. Now we're gonna hold this and just lift that top leg up and down and up and down. Three more, up and down and two and down, last one and down. Now, keeping ourselves here, I'm gonna lift that knee up. I'm gonna pull the knee in and extend it back. Pull the knee in and extend it back. Pull in, extend it back. Last two, pull in, a little unstable, but extend it back. And last one, pull in, extend it back. Take the foot down, arm to the ceiling. We go three or five little twists, or five, and back. And four, and back and three, and back, and two, and back, and last one, and back, and slowly bend it down. We'll go over to the other side. All right, so I have my forearm right underneath me, so my elbow's right underneath my shoulder. My legs are extended out a little bit. I'm gonna hover my hips up, and extend myself out. Holding that connection and stabilizing, I lift my leg up for five, and four, and three, and two, and final one. Now we lift it up, we pull that knee in for five, extend it out, and four, three, and two, final one. Take the foot down, arm to the ceiling, Five little twists. We go underneath the body and back through center. Underneath the body and back through center. Three more. And up and two. And up. Final one. And up. And we lower it down and rest. All right. Let's take those bands off. We're gonna put them back around our upper arms. And we'll end up on our stomachs. And now I'm just gonna make sure mine is not twisting, but it's having some technical difficulties. So sorry if you need to pause as well for your upper arm bones doing the work also. All right. So bringing ourselves down onto the mats, I want us to be able to go into a little bit of a swan position, but feeling how the outer energy of the upper arm bones supports us in spiraling our shoulders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the arms a little more forward than I think, so my elbows are more underneath, and we're gonna open the band quite a bit. My legs are out strong and straight, I'm gonna take an inhale, lift my eyes up, my nose, my chin, my neck, my chest. Hold that connection. Keeping the outer energy in the band, I'm gonna to start to extend my arms up. I'm gonna to start to keep that energy into the band so it's allowing me to spiral. I'm gonna to start to lower myself down and come to the floor. So I'm keeping that outer energy. My eyes look forward, my chin, my neck, my chest. I'm gonna to start to press myself up, bend my elbows, and lower it down with control. Two more like that. Eyes, nose, chin, neck, chest, and then I press up, active belly, hamstrings, upper back extensors, soften the elbows down, and peel the rest of the way. Last time, 
Eyes, nose, chin, neck, chest, hold. Extend it up. Stay there. Could you take your arm up and down? Take the other arm up and down. Arm up and down. Could you get your arm a little higher and down? Up and down. Up and down. Last one to each side. Up and down. Last time. Up and down. Bend the elbows. Lower yourself down. When you can take that band up and off of your arms, we'll set ourselves up and back into a little rest position. And slowly curl yourself up to sitting. Thank you guys for doing this class with me, and we will see you next time. Have a great day.